After activating the iConfigurator shortcut from the desktop, Scepter's polishing programming menu is displayed. A program is first created by designating a unique program ID similar to a file name. An associated program description is the means to identify the program within Scepter's database. During operation, step-by-step -step instructions are presented to the technician. The first of these instructions can be entered into this text field. Usually this prompts the technician to insert the proper workholder fixture with the base scepter polisher. Please note that help callout bubbles are available for active assistance during programming. For each program, up to 10 individual polishing steps can be marked for execution. By checking a particular step, various polishing parameters can now be assigned. For this example, the first process step will incorporate fiber denubbing and epoxy removal and will be designated air polish. Prior to commencing this and subsequent steps, the technician will be presented with instructions associated with the upcoming step. This typically consists of polishing film type, rubber pad type, solution if any, to be used with this particular step. As a visual reinforcement for the technician, the pad color can be selected from a pull-down menu. Two techniques of pressure application are available with Scepter, either traditional static pressure application or Scepter's unique microfeed polishing can be selected and programmed. With static pressure, the workholder fixture moves a user-defined distance from a home position into contact with the polishing surface. It will then remain in contact with the polishing surface for a user-designated cycle time. The distance the workholder travels from its home position to the polishing surface determines the amount of pressure applied. This distance can be programmed either in inches of travel from the home position or for more precise control on a submicron level, the number of motor micro steps from the home position. To assist in the calculation of micro steps, a teaching utility is available. In this mode, the workholder Z axis positioning can be controlled with an active readout of its distance from the home position in both inches and micro steps. Once the ideal position is determined, Scepter automatically populates the microstep field. To complete the programming step for static pressure, we can then enter the cycle time for the particular step, and finally, the platen rotation speed during polishing. Microfeed polishing is unique to Scepter due to the independent suspension design of its workholders and its submicron control z-axis movement. From its home position, the workholder moves immediately to a start position. It then continues to advance at a programmed rate until it reaches a stop position. The workholder will now remain in a static pressure position for the remainder of the cycle. By checking the microfeed option, a list of pre-programmed routines can be accessed. These existing routines can be modified, or a new routine can be created. When creating a new routine, enter the routine name and a description of its function. Then, relative to the workholder's home position, a start and stop position are entered. After every polishing cycle, Scepter automatically returns the workholder to its home position. All distances are measured relative to the home position, which is factory set and cannot be changed. Note that teach utilities are also available for determining positioning. Now the rate of workholder travel and advancement from the start to the stop position is set and the platen rotation speed during polishing can be entered. 
Finally, we entered the duration of static polishing time at the stop position. Scepter then automatically calculates the total process time for the complete microfeed polish routine. This routine is now saved to the database and can be selected from the menu. Having completed the first process, additional steps can now be programmed.